praise you, God. I praise you, God. Yes, I praise you, God. Not in my strength, but my weakness, I praise you, God. I praise you, God. I praise you, God.
Praise you in my weakness. I broke 
street you won't break a smoldering wick you won't put out a bruised reed you won't break a smoldering This is who you are, Lord. This is what you like. This is who you are, Lord. This is what you Spirits of rushing wind, fire of God, fall within. Holy Ghost, breathe on us. We, as we repent, turn from sin, revival in the smoldering breath of God, fan us into flame. We need a fresh wind, the fragrance of heaven. Pour your spirit out, pour your spirit Spirit out. 
praying for the church in the city out of Philippians 1. And this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, and that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Father, I bring before you the church in the city, your body of Christ in the city. From Red Ridge Baptist to Redeemer Fellowship to Radiant Church to Forerunner Church, Lord, to St. Thomas More, I ask for each church in this city that you would cause our love to abound towards you and towards each other more and more. I ask for an increase of love, that first and second commandment, as we increase in knowledge, the knowledge of God, knowledge of the word, knowledge of men, understanding the human condition. Lord, I ask as we grow in knowledge and discernment, being able to, to see clearly, to rightly yield wisdom. Lord, I ask that our love would abound still more and more. Lord, you know all things and you are love. You discern all things and you are love. You are patient, you are kind. You lay your life down. Greater love has no man than this, than he lays his life down for his friend, Lord. And you did that. You did that while we were yet enemies of you. You laid your life down for us, Lord. I ask that this love would be in, would grow in our hearts and abound in your church in Kansas City. Lord, you said that they would know us, that they would know that we are Christians, that, we would, that they would know we are little Christ by our love, how we love one another. And so Lord, I ask as we grow in knowledge, as we grow in discernment, I ask that our love would abound towards one another more and more in the name of Jesus. only be given from God. That we would love because you first loved us. Let it be evidence that you are working in us. Your love abounding. Your love abounding Let it be evidence that you are working in us. Your love abounding. Yes, Lord. Just 
be our testimony in the name of Jesus. Let the fruits of righteousness abound in us. Let us walk worthy of this calling. Let the world may know you live. Lord, we want to honor you this way. By our fruit, we want to bear righteousness. In the simplicity of the gospel. And no, it can only come from you. This is work only you can about you. listening to the drones and the calls 
and the stations and the music of the earth. We're listening to your Shema, your voice. Shema Israel, Shema my people, listen, hear me. I want to talk to you, he says. He says this over and over again in Jeremiah and Daniel. Many of the prophets speak his word and he's calling us, Father, we want to be obedient servants. We want to bow our head and bend our knees to you. We want to speak the word you give us in due season. We want to know your times and seasons so we don't go astray. We want to humble ourselves and pray, not be arrogant, not be of the world, be in the world, you say, but not of the world. We want people to know us by our love, our compassion, grace and favor you have resting upon many. We want the people of the world to know who you are, to exalt your name, to speak your word in due season. We thank you and praise you for being patient with us, for enduring while we have frittered some time away. We've turned our back perhaps, we've turned a deaf ear perhaps, We've forgotten the word, perhaps? You say, all have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. This is in your word. This is not my imagination. All have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. What an indictment, Father. How can we repent? direction and we need you to lead us we can't do this on our own we need your presence we need your son we need your Holy Spirit we need to help help us to humble our hearts it's not easy but you 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 can show us how to do it you can lead the way you're the commander of the army of the Lord you can show us how to do all of this so truly we become your people and we walk in your ways. Let your kingdom come, your will be done. We want to follow you in all your ways. Oh, remind us that you reach out for us. That you can, you. Heaven. 
self-control. We ask you to give us the gifts of the Spirit, wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, miracles, prophecy, discernment, the spirit of the tongues. We ask you to change us, transform us so we truly show the world in humility who you are. So we truly become like your son. Amen. Oh God, fill us with the fruits of the Spirit. You're not holding back your hand. Or you will not withhold from us. We want to be fruitful in every good work. So you promised us when we asked you, you will give it free. Asking, we're asking. We want to reveal your son. To honor his name. Lord, we know you. We want to know you more. Open up our eyes, Lord. Give you the glory and the honor to your name. You will have what you are owed.
students out of 2 Thessalonians 3, 1 through 5. Pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you. The Lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. May the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Father, we come to you knowing you as the same God yesterday, today, and forever. The same God of mercy, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. The same one who spoke those words out of Matthew 18, expressing your desire for the next generation. God, we come to you again today and we lay a hold of you. We lay a hold of you to wrestle with you for the blessing of salvation for our children. Lord, we come here to partner with you and to ask again that you would intervene in the midst of our school systems, in the midst of the next generation, that in the middle of a world gone mad, Lord, that you would establish, establish yourself as savior, establish yourself as the rock and as a refuge for our children. Lord, I ask that your word would run swiftly today in the schools. Lord, that you would strengthen believing teachers and principals to stand as witnesses for the truth. Lord, that you would strengthen those who have given their lives to preach the gospel to the next generation. Lord, that you would fill them with the power of your spirit to proclaim the word of truth. Lord, I'm asking that you would continue to open doors for your word to be preached in the schools, for prayer to come again into the school system. We thank you for what you've done in this area so far, but we ask for more, Lord. God, we ask for a move of your spirit among the next generation, that you would establish them, that you'd guard them from the evil one, from evil teachings and doctrines, and that you would direct their hearts into the love of God. So Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, cause your word to run swiftly in our schools today. Lord, we ask that you guard the next generation. your word touch their hearts today. Let your word go forth and pierce their hearts. Let them be touched by the love of God. Pierce the darkness. Remind them their purpose in you. Ruskin High, what I'm asking for our schools in Grandview and South KC, what I'm asking for those nine, those nine high schoolers that gave their lives to you a couple years ago in Ruskin High, Lord, that you would strengthen and establish them and keep them in your love. Lord, I'm asking for the dozens who have given their lives to you over this last year in our elementary schools, God, that you would strengthen them, Lord, that you would teach them, Lord, that you would keep them. Father, we want our schools back. We want our kids back, God. We want, we want them established in your love, living lives of righteousness. So Father, I'm asking again in the name of Jesus, direct their hearts into the love of God today in Jesus' name. Direct hearts into your love. Establishing them and guard them from the evil one. Build them up, guard them, keep them them. school, every student, you know them by the names you call them. Bring home the prodigals, Lord. The ones who 
loved you before Teach them to love you again in your patience over them. Let them testify of your goodness. Let them testify of your love and your patience. What a testimony of the mercy of God in their mouths. No word alive inside of them today. Raise up a testimony 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 today. Testimony today, raise up a 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 testimony today.
of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in your inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width the length the depth and height to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God 
Father, we just lift up to you the church in Kansas City this morning. Lord, we're asking that even in the midst of the, the turmoil of our own community, that you would lay hold of your church, that you would draw them together. Father, I'm asking that you would release strength and grace in the inner man. Father, that you would lift our eyes, that we would be able to get above the noise, see you clearly. Father, that we would sit next to you. God, that we would lay hold of you. Lord, would you clear the fog? Would you help us? Would you remind us? Lord, would you give us that spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of your son? God, I'm asking for just a grace, a vision that we could run after and pursue together. Lord, I thank you for that grand invitation to run after the knowledge of God and to do it with our brothers and sisters. Lord, in this time, would you strengthen the bonds of love? Would you root and ground your church in Kansas City together? Would you give us grace to love one another, to find you hidden in each other? Lord, would you help us see the, the grace that you have hidden in us? Lord, that you would remind us that we cannot do it alone and we were not meant to. God, I ask that you, even right now, would give grace and highlight the need for the body. That you would help us. Lord, we long to not do it alone, to not pass by those that you have set next to us. We want to go together. We thank you for the convergence, your sovereign hand highlighting that in our midst. God, would you do it now? Would you do it even now? Lord, would you show us the beauty of our brothers and sisters in Jesus' name? Lord, would you help us 
to run after that with zeal and fervency, even right now in the midst of this season. Lord, you said in your word that the hand could not say to the foot, I have no need of you. That we have to do this together. That no one is gonna get through it alone. God, would you lift our eyes? Would you help us see the bigger picture? Would you just help us stand above that fog, that, that, that literal grace that is talking with our brothers and sisters and helping us get out inside of ourselves? God, in, in the middle of that, in the healing, in the knitting together in love, would you heal our hearts? Yeah, would you give us grace in Jesus' name?
Isaiah 42, 1. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry aloud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a faintly burning wick he will not quench. He will be faithful and bring justice. He will not grow faint or be discouraged. Lord, we just lift up your name. We thank you, Lord, that you are head of the church. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you paid the price that we can enjoy this great salvation. This is your church. Lord, in so many ways, we've fallen short of our devotion to you. Lord, help us to return and remember the price you paid. Remember the blood. We are not righteous in any way on our own. It's only by your blood. We thank you, Lord, that you've called us out of the darkness into your great light. We pray for your church to return to the King of kings and the Lord of lords, to the Prince of peace, to the humble servant that went and died for us that we can enjoy this great salvation. Lord, we pray for your church, that you would revive her. We want something more, something that you have in your heart. Lord, reestablish your church on the face of the earth in this hour, powerful and mighty, with, with you leading your army. We pray in Jesus' name. Fill your church with hope, joy, and believing. Remind us the blood and the cross were more than enough. Oh, give us that joy of our salvation. Give us one mind, one heart, one love. More, Lord. of your presence, Lord.
burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. Lord, I just pray, especially for our youth, our young people, those that are new in the faith, those that are questioning their faith right now, those that are being attacked by, by Satan and his wilds. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen the bruised reeds, Lord. That you would strengthen, Lord, those that are suffering right now, walking through doubts, self-doubts, doubts about you. Lord, we pray that you would pour out your spirit on those folks, Lord, on those whose faith is delicate right now. That you would strengthen, Lord, and deepen the faith of our young people, of our children, of those in high school, those in college. Lord, strengthen their faith. I pray that you would release experiences with you personally and that you would grant a personal relationship with you individually, that you would speak to those individuals that need it today. Speak to them, Lord, by the power of your spirit. Release your revelation to them. Strengthen their faith, Help them in their time of need, we pray. Faithful servant, by the power of your blood, release the power of your spirit in this hour, we pray in Jesus' name. In this time of need, we ask you to strengthen the youth. We need your encouragement. Those words, those words of life. The living water comes.
five. I'm gonna pray for the ending of abortion, and especially for the Supreme Court. They consider the abortion pill at the end of March. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified, just as it is with you. The unborn would be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. But God, you're faithful. You will establish them and you will guard them from the evil one. Father, thank you that we get to come before you. And thank you for giving us your heart. God, I didn't care for the unborn, but then I realized you cared. Thank you for sharing your heart with me, God. So Lord, here I am bringing before you the unborn because you care about them, Lord. And I ask you for your mercy and your grace. Lord, would you in, in your kindness touch these nine men and women, Lord, as they're considering what to do with the abortion pill. Father, I ask you that your word would run swiftly to their hearts. I pray in every way that they find themselves in disagreement with your word, the way that you see the unborn. Lord, would you change them? Would you change their minds? Father, I ask you for the Daniels around these justices, the men and women of God, the ones that love you with all their heart. Lord, make a way. Make a way for them to bring influence, God, to these judges. Lord, even to the ones who have historically not been in agreement with your heart concerning the unborn, Lord, I pray that even them, Lord, you, they would find ways to speak and to turn their hearts, Lord, to you, God. Father, I ask you for the spirit of Elijah in that place to turn the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, Lord. I pray for a people ready to meet the Lord. God, I pray lest you strike our nation with a curse, lest you come and, and judge us for the blood of yet more babies. Have mercy on this day, God. I pray especially for Washington, D.C., that city. I pray for your mercy, God. I look on that city and I pray, oh God, that you would find righteous men and women fighting for what's right, fighting for justice, Lord. So I pray in the name of Jesus in that city, Lord, in the Supreme Court. Lord, let your word run swiftly in Jesus' name. Oh God of justice, we call on your name. Even now, Abba. Open the eyes of your government. Let life be written in every legislation. Even now, Abba. Have mercy, Abba. Need a revelation of the light. Or you change hearts, you change minds. Oh, change hearts, minds. Oh, Even now, God. With life, with truth of your word. Let them be in agreement with you, Abba. We need a holy agreement. Uh, here we are. Opened our hearts, now you must open more. Here we are before you, Lord. You've opened our hearts, now you must open more. Here we are before you, Lord. You've opened our hearts, now you must open more. Here we are. Bend our hearts, now you must open. 
continuing to pray for the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. I'm gonna keep praying for that. Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus, you would come, you would deliver these babies. Father, I pray that you would establish them, you would guard them from the evil one. I pray for a miracle of grace on these justices, that they would agree with you, Father. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, establish them and guard them from the evil one.
be submitted to your desires, your plans, your feelings. Lord, you know our reach. You see the desire from all those in this city that love you. As we look to you, Lord, let us see clearly. Let us hear you clearly what you want, what you desire. What are the intentions of your heart that we would come in alignment with your will and therefore with each other? Because we all desire, Lord, that your will would be done, that you would be glorified, that the name of Jesus would be exalted above all things. So I ask you for grace right now in Kansas City. Would you cause us to be like-minded in Jesus' name? One heart, one mind, let us walk together. We need to see you we need to all see you. together. together Lord. God, we want to move in one accord. We want to lift up our eyes to you, Lord. Help us. Help us, God, walk in this life. Oh, church in this city, take heart, lift up your eyes. One mind, to God. one mouth glorifying the Father. hope that's put in another age, confident in who you are. Lord, would you fill us with joy and peace as hope overflows. We know it only comes by the power of the Holy Spirit. So we're asking you, Father, thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We're asking you, let the Holy Spirit empower us with hope. Increase in our hearts. We turn to you, desperate for your help as you cause us to walk in unity and in love, as you pierce our hearts, as you break our hearts for what breaks yours, as we get connected to what you want, Lord, cause hope to arise. So I ask now in Jesus' name, in Kansas City, cause hope to arise by the power of the Holy Spirit.
Your eyes.